Hello, BookTube. I saw a couple of videos recently that were so interesting, a video and then a response to that video, that I wanted to bring the subject before you and, and start a discussion, maybe spark a few more videos. It's a classic bookish subject that never gets old. Uh, I saw it on Greg and another Bibliophile Reads. He was doing a response video to uh, Jack at Spread Book Join. And her original video was, Do I Read Too Much? And then Greg did a response to it. And her video is absorbingly good. And it definitely hit a chord with her viewers. You can tell that from the comments field. The comments field is amazing. Uh, with people saying exactly that. Oh my God, this video speaks to me. I have been thinking exactly these things. And the, the question in her video strikes me as being uh, nuanced. Because of course... Of course, all of us want to read a lot, right? It's not a question of how much you read. In her video, it becomes clear that her worry is how she reads, how, how it's all feeling. Uh, what's the natural amount for her to read? Not, of course, every, everybody subscribes to one level or another to so many books, so little time. Even I feel that. Uh, but in her video, the target of blame She's not blaming anyone in the video, but I'm parsing it for you. I'll leave a link so you can watch it yourself. You'll love it. You will love it. The target of blame in her video is largely booktube. That she she speaks in her video movingly, and I wonder how identifiable it will be to how many of you. I bet a lot of you will identify it. She speaks of gradually reaching a point where she thinks of knocking books off a list getting them covered, getting them off her docket so she can move on to something else, and says she didn't want to think, to think about books that way. And so has needed to start saying no to some booktube engagement, to scale back some of that booktube engagement. I thought it was fascinating. I, th I have heard variations of this very wary from some of you over the years. And Greg's response was fascinating too. Of course, Greg is retired and is an avid reader. So he does a lot of reading. He's not only retired and an avid reader, but as he says in his video, he doesn't have that many other hobbies, none that are as fulfilling as reading. I totally sympathize with that, <laughs> to put it mildly. I totally sympathize with that. I also have very few hobbies that are not reading or reading related. I, I might consider writing, especially reviewing books, to be reading related. Uh, not all critics do, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> I have my little dog, Frida. But aside from that, I don't ice skate. I, I closed down my sultry OnlyFans because it was a little a little rough on my lower back. <laughs> I don't I don't go out for karaoke or rock climbing or anything like that. I just read. I just read. It's an amazing it's an amazing special effects extravaganza on the screen or on the computer that will even get me to put aside time from reading in order to watch Planet of the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, or Godzilla Minus One, or something like that. It's only, or Dune, it's only an, an, the promise of an amazing extravaganza that will do that. Not anything else. I have a screener for the, the Jeffrey Wright movie adaptation of a uh, Percival Everett novel. I haven't watched it. Doubt that I will watch it. Because I will, I will turn it on and I think, well... What this is offering is that you can sit down and pay close attention to an intricately crafted narrative. Well, if you're going to do that, you could be reading. <laughs> that's what you do when you read. At least that's what you hope you'll do when you read. And so I, I tend not to do it. So I was identifying with both videos. One, Jack's video, I was identifying with it, but I was also feeling a little bit leery. Because I do a huge amount of reading. And I wonder... Not to indulge in main character syndrome here, but I wonder sometimes if my own channel, with its endless barrage of videos, is responsible for people amassing lots and lots of reading urges when they're not realistically going to be able to get to it because they have family, or friends, or loved ones, or a job, or classes, or ordinary hygiene. <laughs> I wonder sometimes if I don't present a picture that that eggs people on to do exactly what, what Jack was describing on Spread Book Joy, which is make books into a kind of video game, you know, got to catch them all. And when I saw those two videos, uh, the, the original video and then the response video, I naturally wanted to open up the topic to conversation to you. And this is true whether you are a booktube commentator or whether or not you are a booktuber. A lot of people who watch this channel are booktubers. Uh, 
I want to know. I'm not saying that that Jack was specifically targeting BookTube. This kind of commodification of reading was a problem for readers long before BookTube existed. But I want to know myself, if you are experiencing problems like this, do you target BookTube? Is BookTube... BookTube is, I think, largely good. <laughs> very, very largely good. It's a wonderful community. But does it have this negative effect for you? If you are or have been a BookTuber, have you stepped back from BookTube a little because you feel this exact same thing? That I, I, not, not so much I'm reading too much. I think just stubbornly that that is maybe phrased wrong. All of us want to read more. But reading more than you want to. Are you reading more than you want to? Or are you starting to feel a weight, a pressure, a FOMO about your reading that is increased by social media, which can happen on Book Talk or on Bookstagram, but also BookTube? I would love to hear your stories about that. I don't, I don't anticipate, I don't fancy that my comment section will be as good as Jack's was on the subject, but I'd still love to hear about it. I don't think I'll get as many comments, but uh, she's a more beloved channel, so that makes sense. I'm wondering what BookTube has done to your reading. This is a familiar question. For me, for myself, I'm afraid I'm the outlier here. Uh, because I, I love the multiple demands on my reading that BookTube makes. And even if BookTube didn't make those demands, I would make them myself. I very much do have a reading docket. And I love the feeling of gotta catch them all. I, that, is, that has been my organizing reading principle for a long, long, long time, many, many, many decades. It doesn't bother me at all. I love it. Uh, but some of you might not feel the same. I'd love to hear about it. That is that is a subject that I'm bringing up in this video. Uh, but I'll leave links to those two videos so you can get the full picture. Uh, feel free, if you, make, if you have a BookTube channel, feel free to make a video on the subject. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, but anyway, fascinating subject. Do you read too much? Are you reading so much that you're not savoring what you read? which is the heart of what uh, I think what Jack was saying. Are you reading so much that you're not savoring what you read? Fascinating. Fascinating. I am not. I am not anywhere near close to that ever happening. That is not even remotely true. Uh, but for some of you, I bet it is. So let me hear all about it. <laughs> so I'll wrap this video up for now, but I'll be back. Thank you, too.